Good morning guys and welcome to my channel. <clears throat> I'm going to apologize if there was a little bit of a lag. Um, I have a, a fairly new computer but it's not very fast. It's just an old slow computer. So with that being said let's get started. What I'm doing today is I got my new whale tail tab punch from Amazon. 15 bucks. Now if you just do it let me find a good piece of paper. If you just do it, well, that's a good piece of paper to keep um, from. Let's say you just do the punch, right? Here's a good way. Here's a good example. If you just do the punch itself, you get just one half. So if you do them this way, then you've got to do... You got you got to do two of them, and then glue them together on your page. One came out smaller than the other. Isn't that weird? Huh? Did not come out even. That was another reason for doing it the way. I'm going to show you how I do it. I do it double, and then all I've been doing is taking my scrap page, coming in about an inch and two eighths and scoring and then from there just doing the accordion thing and you know you probably got it big enough okay so you've got your, your folds Just slide them in and punch. Can I go to the next one? Now, the trick is or the coolness of this is if you buy a digital and you print your digital and you have extras left over then you I I do this with my leftovers and then if I repeat the digital oh I really like I really had fun with that project I'm gonna go back and do it again your whale tail tabs are already cut and you do not have to fuss or muss with it on the next go around. Or you've got a project with similar colors in it. You've already got them cut ahead. This is something you can do pretty much any any day, any time. Okay? So there we go. And then I gotta get my garbage can when I do something because I'm gonna fill a I have my small trash can guys. Here it is. So that's where I'm gonna put my my can't be can't be scrapped scrapped any more scraps. So this is part of the um, use it or lose it series that oh gosh a cat's I'm gonna get used to her new name. She changed her name and I used to know her by um, Kathy's Creative World, but I'll put a until I get used to it. Look for the description or look for her link in the description and you'll find it. So anyhow, that is this installment of Use It or Lose It. Okay, so I'm going to continue to do this until I've used up like, you know, crap tons of my scrap. It also works with book pages, which I have. I have, I have, I have. What did I do? I've got a bed now of where I'm putting everything that I'm working on. And so it's supposed to be easier to find, but I don't see what I did with my book pages. Hold on, guys. I got tons of them. No worries. I got book pages on top of book pages on top of book pages. So we'll just go through this. 
let's see how brittle these pages are. I don't know. This might work. Depends on your, first of all, how brittle your book pages are. Let's find out. I'll show you what I did with, oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Coolness. That'll work. Let's see if I got it far enough. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. So, guys, that is how I... Whoops, yeah, that one was too brittle. Got to be careful. Now, what I did yesterday, and I don't know if I saved them or not. I did these and I covered them with musical notes to go on those journaling cards in the video you saw on the Facebook swap. I glued these, I made these out of cardstock and then I glued um, music page to them and then I cut them out. So it turned out nice. It turned out looking really nice. So that's how I did that. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Use It or Lose It 2024. Watch for the links, some special links in the description box. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.